Hey YouTube, um, it's me again. By now I'm sure you've probably seen the last couple videos I posted and know what's going on. If not, I am pregnant. I am so excited. We just, uh, we can't believe it. Um, really, we can't believe it. We didn't do any kind of infertility stuff this month or anything. Um, I didn't even char, I didn't even temp. I just took one OPK, that's it. So, we're just so excited. Um, I went to my doctor last week and got it confirmed, if you didn't see it in the video. And um, then today I went back to my doctor and got another ultrasound. And here we go. Here's the first, wait, I'm trying to cover up my information. Here, wait. I think this is covered. Here is the first little picture of my little baby. I might have to do it differently because I don't even know if you saw that. Let's see. There it is, that little black dot right there next to the arrow. Um, that's the gestational sac. And I'm so excited. So excited. Can't believe it. So anyway, um, yeah, everything looks perfect. My doctor was so happy with everything. Um, we went back, got my ultrasound, and I wasn't expecting to see anything because I'm only, it's been four weeks and five days since my period, but four weeks and three days since I ovulated, or, or no, whatever, since I ovulated two days later because you know, they, they go by your last menstrual period, but they go by, if it's a perfect, you know, you ovulate on day 14. I didn't. I ovulated on cycle day 16, two days later than, what, you know, normal people or the average person does. So, um, the sac, the gestational sac measured four weeks and three days, but they're not changing it or anything, so they're still going to go with the, um, four weeks and five days pregnant. Um, I'm so excited. We, I'm just so excited. I cannot believe it. Um, okay, what else? Had my ultrasound, and I really was not expecting to see anything. Um, and as soon as she, it was like a transvaginal ultrasound, and as soon as she, um, like put it in or whatever, she was like, well, I see something already, you know, like, oh, my mom came with me, because my husband had to work, and, um, we, like, we both almost, like, had tears in our eyes, and we were just so excited, um, I was bummed my husband, husband couldn't be there to see it, but he wanted to save his time off for, um, when we can hear a heart, or, or see a heartbeat, which will maybe be next week, maybe, if not, then definitely the week after, um, they're going to do uh, basically weekly ultrasounds for the first several weeks because I'm high risk due to my infertility and um, my risk of miscarriages that I've had or history of miscarriages. But everything so far looks absolutely perfect. Um, my progesterone is great. She said that my uterine lining was even thicker than before. It was last week when she measured it. So I just, oh, I, I can't thank God enough. I, we just feel so blessed that this is finally happening for us, and I'm gonna cry. We just feel so blessed. Um, yeah. We're getting ready to go this evening, um, to tell, to announce to my husband's parents, to my in-laws, and she's gonna sh poop her pants. Like, she is absolutely gonna flip out. Um, his, his dad probably was like, oh, okay, cool, congratulations, but his mom will bawl her eyes out and just, like, die. Like, she is going to be so excited. Um, so I, I'm going to, I think I might give her one of these ultrasound pictures, and, um, I have a, I bought two one, or I bought, like, two onesies, a pink one and a blue one, and I, uh, a, a bib that says Grandma's Little Blessing, and I wrapped it all up and I put it in a bag, and we're going to tell her that we just got her a little, like, thank you gift because we just went on vacation a couple weeks ago. And she watched our dog for us. 
sewers can be like, yeah, we just got you something little, like something small to just say thanks for, you know, always watching the dog for us. And then it's going to be the baby stuff. So I hope, I mean, I just cannot wait to see her face whenever she opens it, her opens the present. She's just going to flip out. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, anyways, let's see. Pregnancy stuff. Um, symptoms. <clears throat> my symptoms so far have been, my number one symptom is frequent urination. Um, that was like the first clue that I thought that I might be pregnant. We were coming home, coming back from vacation, and it was like an eight and a half hour drive, and we had to stop every hour. <laughs> and like, I told my husband, I was like, either I have a UTI or I'm pregnant. Like, I had just, I just kept on going to the bathroom, peeing all the time. So, but I was just kidding. I really did not think I was pregnant. Like, I was just kidding then. Um, let's see what other symptoms am I having. Um, my boobs get sore, like, in the afternoon and evening. And then my nipples get really sore. But, like, in the morning when I first wake up, I don't, they're not that sore. So, I'm not sure what that is about, but I'm not complaining. Like, right now they're kind of a little bit sore. Um, what else? I just had, like, a teeny tiny bit of cramping, um, for a couple times, like, nothing that I would freak out about, like, nothing major at all, just, you know, a little bit of, kind of discomfort. I bloated a lot last night, um, and I've been getting these headaches, and I'm not one to typically get headaches, so I know that it's r related to the pregnancy, because it's, it's rare for me to get, like, one a month, and I've had probably like four or five in the past week since I found out that I was pregnant. So I know it's pregnancy related, but, and then earlier today, I was meeting my, a couple of my girlfriends for lunch, and, um, on the drive out to the restaurant, I got a little queasy. I won't call it morning sickness, but it was just kind of like, ooh, it's probably coming. So, but I ate something and I felt fine. And I feel awesome right now. I just feel so happy and so excited right now. Um, nothing is wrong at all. So, let's see. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about. That's basically it. Nothing major right now. I'm feeling great. Everything's going wonderfully. Um, I'm calling it right now. I really think it's a girl. Um, my husband and I both really, really wanted a boy first, but I just have this gut feeling that it's a, that it's a girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> which I'm ecstatic about either way. Uh, it doesn't matter, honestly, as long as we have a healthy little little baby. Matthew has been calling it Little Wormy. Oh, Little Wormy. <laughs> so, whatever. I think it's cute. That's probably going to stick. We'll probably call it Squirmy Wormy or something here. <sighs> but, let's see. I don't know. I just, I love my doctor. He's wonderful. He made me feel so comfortable and so excited. He said everything's perfect and he really does not think that anything is going to happen, which I'm so excited. He he just makes me feel so good and optimistic about everything. And I just really couldn't believe whenever we saw the, the, the gestational sack on the ultrasound today. I thought that I was going to be way too early. So I was so excited whenever she saw that. It just, oh, it made it so real, you know? But anyway, um, yeah, I just cannot believe it. So, I'm going to try to do pregnancy vlogs um, as much as I can. And, yeah, I'll update you all if anything major happens. But, I'll show you little baby, little baby again one more time. Here we go. I'm just trying to cover up my name. Here we go. There little baby is. That little black dot right there. <laughs> little smudge. But, we love the little black dot already. Anyway, thank you guys so much um, for watching and subscribing. And, if you... I would really appreciate, you know... I don't know. I just really, I would just really appreciate everybody's nice comments and congratulations and everything that, they've been, that you all have said. And, we just feel so blessed and happy to be on this journey so I hope that you all continue to follow us on this journey um, and I'll, like I said I'll try to do pregnancy vlogs and keep you updated on anything exciting so baby yes to everybody else and that's it bye guys